one thing that has really struck me looking at this from an Indian perspective is that India is really struggling to see how to cope with transport problems in cities here uh, because car ownership is growing very rapidly indeed and uh, they're struggling to see how they deal with that. Do they deal with it through public transport or building more roads and so on. So this is a big issue and something that Europe understands really well and uh, and I think India is looking to Europe to really help with the transport, understanding the transport solutions. Uh, the other thing that India is struggling with is, is water management and water supply. It's got too much water during the monsoon with flooding problems and it doesn't have enough water for the rest of the year. And so water management is also a very profoundly difficult issue and that, that it's looking for help with. One opportunity in Surat is that it's a city which actually is not very well developed in infrastructure terms. So it's an opportunity to look at new forms of integrated infrastructure, so energy, water and waste systems which are decentralised, which can be put into the new communities and new forms of transport, maybe using electric vehicles, uh, smart grids uh, and so on. So we can demonstrate a lot of things that most people in Europe are talking about implementing as a retrofit scenario or a new build scenario in, in countries like Denmark for smaller communities. So actually the two seem to me to be very uh, coincident and actually of interest. The idea is that rolling out these technologies and ideas in Surat will then be shared with the rest of India. So we will be bringing officials and uh, companies to Surat so they can learn about these new technologies and new ideas and take them to the rest of India. So anyone getting involved would be able to connect into a network of uh, demonstration and s selling and marketing of these ideas across the rest of India. The reason I'm doing what I'm doing is because I'm desperately concerned that we're heading to six degrees of global warming now by 2070, which is going to be catastrophic for the human race in the lifetime of my grandchildren. And therefore, I passionately believe that the business community all over the world has to work together to find these solutions. But the great thing about that is there are big business opportunities in doing that. There are ways of creating lots of new ideas, new technologies, lots of integrated approaches, which can be very good for business uh, going forward. And for India, uh, where people are moving to cities, Surat is growing at 6% a year in terms of its population. There's lots of skills, lots of resources available to actually turn these ideas into practical uh, solutions on the ground that can be good for business in India and good for business in Europe.